All right, so there's going to be spoilers uh, for this rant slash review kind of open towards the Continental series. So just to let you know, so I will be putting out a, if it's not already out, a, a non-spoiler review for today for uh, like a full review. This is more just focusing on a couple things or a thing. So I'll wait a minute and you can leave the room. If you are wanting, if you don't care about spoilers or you already saw it, wait here. All right, let's talk about Winston's character towards the end. Okay, and this really frustrated me all freaking night. So. I don't fully understand, in general, the whole point of the, uh, the, uh, the, the I forgot what it's called, the uh, Findicator or whatever, her, um, in this, specifically this series. Uh, I know she has a place in general in this world, and they do, but it's just kind of like she didn't really pop up or do anything to add to the story. But that's not even the issue. The issue is Winston. So this is a young Winston. Uh, we know he is old the in the movie the, in the films and that he uh, is uh, you know recognized by the high table right of the hotel the head of the hotel from my understanding this is supposed to be um, a one of time mini series type of thing it doesn't even say season I don't think on um, on peacock but for some reason, he thought, hey, this girl, is threat this, this vindicator is threatening me um, uh, and, and not recognize me. And she's, you know, all this stuff, right? So let me kill her. No, here's the thing. They kill her, he kills her, and then it go, pans up to nighttime and he is up at the top of the thing. And that's the end of the series. I don't know what that is. I don't get that. Um... It's, it's definitely a huge pothole slash cliffhanger on that. But the whole thing is, when John Wick in the second film killed a, a, a someone ahead of the high table, I don't know if he was officially put there at all. I know he killed his sister who was officially part of the... Uh, no, he didn't kill a, uh, John Wick did, but he had John Wick kill her. Uh, so to take her place at the high table, right? So when John Wick did that, on top of the fact that there's a rule that you're not supposed to kill someone in uh, the hotel, which they also ignored in the series, which with Mel Gibson killing that violin guy, or cello guy, sorry. Um, they they put him as a the most wanted man uh, as a, a communicado. So they went all out on John Wick and, and went out and killed him, right? Well, they didn't do that with this, and it just, it, there's like that huge, 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 huge plot hole uh, cliffhanger on that part of the very last episode. Um, and I, I it's, it just boggles my mind where they went with that. And then again, what well, I say in my, my normal view, my original view, non spoiler view, uh, after the second episode, the uh, first episode, it starts to go down, heal the writing. Because the third one was also this really, really stretched out which is i kind of expect this point from john wick but um the franchise and i think the director's behind this i don't know it doesn't seem like it um but the problem was it was this really really ridiculous ridiculous kind of corny kind of funny type of thing uh compared to like say the first two episodes where they were more serious tone so it also just it didn't fit into that but my biggest issue, again, comes back to the Winston thing. There are more questions than there were. There are more questions now from the series in this world than there was before the series came out. And this is just one of them. This is the biggest one. Uh, definitely, it, I don't know, it kind of seems like they're also going to have a spinoff for for uh, the uh, the crow the not crow people but the people and the where f that leads to um, fishbone fishburn 
his character and stuff. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's like this series really frustrated me by the end. And that just hit the cake on it. And I just want to make a little quick video about it. And I want to know your guys' opinion. Um, but yeah, that's what I got. So remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Uh, spread the love. And no, I don't recommend this series. <laughs> uh, and it's cool.